This video will show you how to do a correlation coefficient in R. What I've already loaded is the IRIS data set. Uh, so you can see I've loaded it up here in the upper right. I'm going to click on the spreadsheet and you can see our common variables of sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width, and then we have some um, number or the value of that species that we're interested in. Uh, so there are 150 rows of these data. <coughs> So I'm going to go back to my um, where I'm inputting my data. Uh, so I'm, ask, I'm asked for the Pearson correlation coefficient. In R, we can use the core function uh, to find the correlation coefficient. And in this case, we need to say, well, what are the two things we want to find the correlation of? And so in our example, we'll type the data set name iris. And we want to find out um, the first one being the sepal length, iris dollar sign sepal length, comma, and then our other variable is from the iris data set as well, and that's the sepal width. And so here we can just do the correlation, uh, our, our first variable, comma, second variable. So we can do that and hit the play button. Um, and you can see it, it calculates the correlation in the R output window. It found a correlation of negative 0.1175. Um, and so, as you remember, the Pearson correlation coefficient takes any value between negative 1 and 1, um, and values less than 0 uh, show negative trends, as in this case. So this would indicate that as sepal length increases, sepal width decreases. Um, if it were a positive number, we would show that um, both values increase um, as the other increases. So this is not a particularly strong correlation. Uh, this is a... a a correlation of negative 0.11 is rather weak, um, but it is weak and, and in the negative direction. And so that's how you do a correlation coefficient in R.